time for the series premiere review of Kamen Rider Gotchard. Wow, I've missed, like, somehow I missed like three seasons of Kamen Rider. So, might as well start with the one that's closest where I'm like, oh, Dawson was watching it. Might as well actually dive right in. Also, rest in peace, Japanime. You can't see what I'm doing, but think of it as the Guardian salute. I'll miss him. It sucks. But you know, that's how it is. It's like sometimes things are just not how it goes. He might actually found a better job and for his better job, he had to ditch YouTube and it's gone now. He gone, but he'll forever be remembered. Anyways, Kamen Rider got charred. I liked it. It's, it's cool. They basically, it's like these days, it's like it's a mix of things that you can't really come up with anything new. So, again, it's kind of like Common Rider W, Common Rider Build, where they have two things that they'll mix together and turn into one. But this time around, they don't actually show one half and the other half. It's more the fact of they mix it together. And they really got a thing for grasshoppers. I guess that's always the thing for common riders is they love the bugs. They love the grasshoppers, which is like, hopper's cute. Okay, hopper's cute. I'm cool with it. So we got this guy named Itchy. I'm gonna name him Itchy because it makes sense. So we got Itchy here. Itchy's a student. He works with his mom. His dad is somewhere and well, she works at the shop. He works there when he is get off school and stuff. And well, he doesn't know what he's going to do in life. So he goes to school. He has a friend named Kai Ki. Yeah. And there's this one girl named Kudo. And I'm like, I don't like you, Kudo. I don't like you at all. <laughs> it's like, it seems like they're not childhood friends or anything or classmates since they're elementary school. So I don't know. It just seems kind of like she's like whatever on the things and it's like you kind of should know his name if he's in your class you most likely should know almost everyone's name in class technically you kind of should know their names in class so anyways yeah she kind of was like what the fuck so as soon as school is over oh yeah don't forget about minato sensei <laughs> So he's actually the guy that's a guidance counselor, I believe. And he's like, you left yours blank. You left your dream job blank. What do you want to aspire to do? While well, Kudo doesn't need to do it because, well, she is inheriting a job that has been passed down from generation to generation. It's like, yeah, that sounds familiar, like rich people and stuff. <laughs> so after school, for some reason, Itchy decided to follow her and it looks like her ring, which I'm like, that gotta be a special ass ring, okay? I saw Kamen Rider Wizard and, well, his ring is too like, whoa, over the top. I do wish they had, for Kamen Rider Wizard, the ring wasn't so damn big that it could actually be small and then it grew to big size when he actually was in Kamen Rider form, but it's small, it's big as fuck. It's like, it's solely big as fuck. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, damn. Could you not just make it big when it's a freaking common Rider? But anyways, her ring is blue. She can use alchemy. Yep. Or let's say magic sorcery. And she was able to show a very invisible room. Or she actually made it home by just walking through an alley and just summoned the door. Meanwhile, Itchy got lured to another place. Actually, it's just nothing but a power area or something. <laughs> yeah, storage. I mean, uh, workers keep out electricity. He goes in there and turns out Hopper actually is like, oh my gosh, you, I choose you. I'm skipping. In the beginning of it all, it turns out that there's a guy who actually was making something. And instead of calling the key of darkness that actually unlocks the darkness area, Noctis realm, he created the key of hope, AKA the Gotchard driver. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? It's like, dude, are we doing ebonics up in here? It's like, nah, nah, it's just 
it's just something catchy. He like itchy names it. So the key of hope, that's what he called it. He was making sure that these three doesn't go for it. He made lots of cards or basically there are Kimmies. They call them Kimmies. And he sorts he stored all of them. 101 apparently. And it's like so we're dealing with card captors now. We're mixing in card captors. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I ripped off card captors too. Okay. We're all criminals here. <laughs> so yeah, he basically ran for it and made it to another dimension that's full with bottles. I have to admit, when it comes to the CGI, which is full with CGI, it's filled with CGI. I'm like, I just gotta get used to it. I just have to get used to it. That's what I gotta do. I gotta get used to it. That's all. As soon as I get used to it, I'll be fine with it. Just gotta get used to it. There's a lot more CGI used these days. Gotta get used to it. So, meanwhile, he sent the two Hopper and Steam Liner, liner to look for someone worthy to take up the calls because it's his fate. And Itchy was chosen. And then all of a sudden we got a freaking steam liner going crazy. And his friend actually took a picture of it. He was also mentioning something about monsters beforehand. And well, the steam liner was tracking down Hopper. And well, Kudo revealed that, oh my gosh, she's an alchemist. And she's going to try to take down the steam liner. And... Yeah, she's. It's like at that point, it's like okay, I'm kind of like you now, because it's like before, it's like you're kind of a jerk, and now he's hiding Hopper, and he's like, "Are you hiding something in that bag? Are you hiding something from me?" It's like you were acting cold as fuck, and now you want to try to be a little bit chummy. Not even chummy. It's more like you're just getting interrogated out of nowhere. It's like, what the hell, lady? <laughs> like what the hell? What the freak? It's like. Did you learn from Amber? <laughs> but anyways, she does try to defend and use leaves to fight it. And eventually, well, Itchy came to the rescue, tried to save her. He got stuck on Steamliner, now it's hanging for his dear life. And then he drops down and Steamliner engulfs him. In quotation, engulfs him. And takes him back to the guy who actually created the key of death, the key of hope. The alchemist. He goes there, he tells them that, hey, well, they chose you, you're cool with that, and you actually sends them and everything. Here's the driver. There it's yours now, it's your destiny to actually defend and keep this driver safe. Then the three dumbass girls, which I didn't mention this, but the three girls who actually are after it, decide to actually crash the party, and lo and behold, he has to actually sacrifice his life to make sure that. Itchy is safe at home. So as Itchy's safe at home, well, lo and behold, all the cards that he actually collected, I guess because he died, just like card captors, all of the freaking 101 or 99 of the freaking Kimmies are now out in the world that he has to recapture them again. So the three girls actually found him, and after they found him, one of them jumped out, decided to take the Mantis Kimmy and fuse with it and well he has no choice but to eventually start fighting which is like about time apparently like x8 he has a middle form where he actually turned into a grasshopper mixed with the steam liner but eventually he figured out how to become a common writer fought the girl also kudo is back up making sure that he doesn't get truly smashed and eventually they did some b fighter slash metal rider like move and she, he eventually actually was able to get the Mantis out of her, Kimmy out of her, and capture it back on the card. And she's like, oh, well, it ain't over. I'm coming back. And next time, I'm going to freaking take you down. And I'm going to get that driver. And she leaves. His friend shows up. Of course, he's not Kamen Rider anymore. His friend shows up. His friend's like, hey, I told you monsters are real. Here's the photo. And then all of a sudden, it kind of is like as if reality just froze and turns out minato sensei is also an alchemist and he's like there's a rule when it comes to alchemy erase everyone's minds who's not an alchemist i think that's what's what he says so and footage 
So he erased the footage off the, the friend's phone and erased his memory, I believe. And he's like, oh, well, gotta go. Bye, man. And it's like, what the fuck? So there we go. So now he's in the loop. For some reason, they have released a episode two at the same day. I don't know why, but they released an episode two. I thought this was decent enough, but they released the episode two. So I'm going to watch episode two. But personally, this episode stands on its own two feet. Do I like it? Yes. I think I'm actually glued to it, not extremely glued to it, but I'm getting down what the story is given. And plus his father, who is his father? Why does his mom actually hide his father in the photo? There's some kind of freaking card or um, postcard or advertisement in front of the dad's face. Why are you doing that? Is the dad an alchemist? I, I'm going to try to find out. <laughs> so we'll see how that plays out. Would I recommend you watching it? Yes, if you can. But I'm not going to condone it if you have to do what I do. Because I would like them to be supported versus being a complete jerk. <laughs> so you might want to wait until the DVD release of Gotchard. That will take a while. But at least the good news is that I can tell you that... For the first episode, it might not be worth the wait, but we got to see how it lands and plays out. As soon as the last episode hits, if it's not actually worth it, then I'll give you a series review and I'll tell you if it actually is worth getting the DVD. 